We're live. Hi, everybody. How you doing today? Welcome to Traveling with Bruce. Bruce here from Creston, BC. How's it going, everybody, today? Everyone having a good weekend, I hope. Uh, hope everything uh, working out for you. How's that weather for you guys? Uh, I, uh, I am seeing some of these reports from the USA. Uh, my goodness, uh, my American friends are, uh, they're in winter. Uh, <laughs> my friends in uh, Ontario, Quebec. Back, uh, Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, uh, PEI, Newfoundland. Oh my gosh, are you guys getting hit with crap? And I have to think, my friends in the northern U.S. states, same thing. I hope it's okay for you. Uh, stay safe, stay warm, stay healthy, please. Uh, welcome to the show. Welcome to Traveling with Bruce. Love talking about cruise ships here and holidays, going on holidays together. Um, Hope you're doing all right. Uh, this channel here, oh my goodness, what a weekend. I, I've been busy this weekend making videos, updating you on some stories, and uh, I'm looking here at my uh, my statistics for my subscriber count. Oh, wow. On Saturday, I got off the air. We were at 9,452 subscribers. Just incredible. Uh, we figured we we're going to hit you know 9,500 here. We did that. Then we were hit 9,600. We did that. Uh, we're now at 9,640 subscribers, a 188 subscriber gain in the last two days. Wow. Fantastic. Uh, thank you so much for subscribing to this channel and catching my shows. Really appreciate it. Uh, it's just it's just been a whirlwind of uh, activity here. Um a lot of you out there have joined me in the last four or five months or so, which is just uh, humbling. It's great. You're from all over the world, too, which I love. I want to say a special greetings to my folks in Asia, to my viewers in Australia, New Zealand, uh, viewers from South America, viewers from the Caribbean area, viewers from the USA, obviously, Canada, from the UK, from the, from Europe, from uh, from uh, Asia, I mean everywhere. It's, it's just worldwide. It's just incredible. Thank you for finding me and uh, clicking the subscribe button. I really appreciate it. It uh, certainly helps with the analytics, no question about it. Um, uh, those of you who, who watch me live or who watch me on a rerun, uh, becoming a subscriber of this channel is a big deal. Um, every time a new subscriber comes on board, the analytics computers at YouTube, they pick up on it. They're constantly monitoring their channel's trajectories and their forecasts, and they know uh, the more subscribers a, a creator is attracting, the more they should be promoting that channel to, to similarly like thinking uh viewers uh if you love cruise ships uh they're gonna start targeting more cruise ship followers of my videos and i i couldn't be more happy i am doing this as a full-time job i am a full-time youtuber i work at this seven days a week uh although i'm supposed to get sundays off <laughs> i don't get sundays off i work at this seven days a week but i love it um and uh i'm on air five days a week monday to friday at five o'clock eastern time saturdays at two talking cruise ships and then for good measure i'm on tuesday and thursday evenings at eight o'clock eastern time with live trivia sometimes travel trivia sometimes hollywood trivia sometimes who knows what trivia i'll ask the craziest questions for you guys and i uh, love it when you guys come by and watch me on my live trivia shows tuesdays and thursdays um Yes, so as a full-time YouTuber, I uh, I cannot thank you enough to consider subscribing to this channel. If you do subscribe to this channel, I uh, highly urge you to not only hit the button here or here, whichever one you want. One of these two has a little bell thingy beside, a little thingy, it looks like a bell, the bell notification icon it is called, or at least that's what YouTubers call it. And uh, if you click on that, YouTube will automatically send you a, an alert telling you he did it again bruce has posted something he's either put up a video or he's going live because you never know when i go on the air or post something in between live shows like today i did a video first thing this morning it was still dark outside here i came across a story talking about royal caribbean uh, what's happening with royal caribbean i posted that video this morning and uh, it has had over a thousand views already this morning those of you who got the alert, you knew right away he's up to something. I better check it out. And uh, thank you for those of you who have watched the, sh the video. Thanks to you who have uh, either already shared the video to your friends on, on YouTube or, or Facebook, 
or are considering uh, uh, sharing the video through any other social media, that would be fantastic. I would love that. Thanks to all of you who have given thumbs ups to that video as well. I appreciate that very much. All of that activity lights up the computers at YouTube headquarters. They just love it when they see outside engagement, thumbs ups, uh, comments, uh, anything coming in where the engage the uh, creator and the viewer are interacting. It's uh, it's a sign to YouTube. This guy's serious. He's not fooling around. He wants to be a full timer. He wants to grow his channel globally. He does the kind of content people react to. He takes his craft seriously. We promote this guy. More people like him. It's just that simple. We're going to promote him because that's what we want as YouTube. Uh, we, at, we at YouTube want to take creators and get them out to people who like them. And uh, <laughs> it just works. Uh, more engagement means more uh, revenue for all. And for me personally, it's a big deal because I do get paid by YouTube uh, via advertising, but it's all a matter of how long you watch and how often. And so uh, I do my best to put content out there that I hope you enjoy and that you like and that you'll refer others to find and watch. And uh, that just steamrolls the channel to, uh, to a higher level. Not there yet. I'm not able to live off this channel yet. I'm working on it. Uh, Still got a ways to go. Uh, we're approaching 10,000 subscribers. That is true, but I really have to have about 25 to 50,000 to really begin to lean on the advertising revenue to make a go of it full time. So the, the, the chase is on for subscribers <laughs> and views. And uh, that's why I'm working seven days a week because right now it's go time. It's got to happen. And so it's coming. And I am humbled every time a new subscriber comes my way. Uh, Brittany, thank you so much. Sending me a donation here. Uh, Brittany, sending me a dollar. Thank you, Brittany. I appreciate that. You're wonderful. Um, you know, any donation helps. Uh, I uh, have to say, uh, there are some of you folks out there who've been kind enough to donate to me through Patreon. Patreon is a uh, site that sort of supports YouTube creators where you can make a pledge of a, a monthly donation to a channel. Um, some YouTube creators really work a lot on Patreon where they make special videos just for Patreon patrons. I don't do that. I have no time at the moment to spare to anywhere but here with you directly on YouTube. I, however, I have a Patreon site and, um, for some of my viewers, they find it very convenient. They just set up a, a donate uh, system with Patreon. It's just a monthly contribution. I ask for three bucks a month as a minimum. 10 cents a day is all I'm asking for. Uh, some folks have decided they, well, they want to send me a little more than that. You can send me as much as you want uh, if you like. Uh, and uh, that can be done through Patreon, through any payment method you want. They, they handle all of it. They take care of it. I end up getting about 90% of what is pledged through Patreon. It's great. It's just fantastic. I don't have to worry about it. I don't do anything for it. I just, I just, it's a, it's a vehicle that you can use to make a monthly contribution and say, Bruce, I'm sending you this much a month and knock yourself out. Please keep the creating coming. Uh, for those of you out there who are, uh, don't like to do that. Uh, I have to say thank you to a number of you out there. You know who you are. Uh, there are a number of you out there who regularly will send me a donation from time to time on my PayPal button, which is available. You can find it on my homepage or my about page. There's a link to PayPal. It's a donate link. And uh, you can send me any amount you want in any currency you want to send it. Uh, I cannot thank all of you enough for that because that has made the difference between the advertising pennies that are coming through and the dollars I receive from those. Thank you for all of that. All right. That's enough of that. Uh, thank you also for those of you who are going to Redbubble, the store, that I have a uh, Traveling with Bruce store on Redbubble to acquire uh, Redbubble uh, or Traveling with Bruce merchandise on the Redbubble site, like the coffee mugs, uh, like these right here, the TWB mugs and T-shirts and hoodies and sweatshirts, women's tops, tank tops, uh, clock, wall clocks, uh, telephone skins, travel mugs, tote bags. It just goes on and on and on. The Redbubble people that take such good care of me. I can't possibly foul it up. I just get them the logos. I have uh, assistance to, to make the right kind of logos. The logos get published through Redbubble, and you can find right now 35 different logos for this stuff. It's unbelievable. This is one of the best-selling shirts I, we've ever put together, this, this 
The sextant logo here with Traveling with Bruce on it is really popular in purple, in black, in white, in red, in green, whatever color you like. There are 17 colors available for T-shirts alone. It's just unbelievable. I couldn't possibly do it myself. I wouldn't be able to do any of it. They, The folks at Redbubble, they, they take your money. They take your address. They take your order. They ship you the product. They handle returns. They do it all, and uh, and I I just get a royalty for every every time some one of these sales I make so many dollars a shirt, and I don't have to do a thing but just read the email that comes from Redbubble saying you just sold a T-shirt today. Yay! Speaking of Redbubble, I just remind just reminded myself today only twenty percent off anything on Redbubble. Uh, I don't set the prices on Redbubble with regards to sales. I had I can't tell them hey I want you to sell my stuff at twenty percent off. They do it as a as a uh, as a, uh, a retailer, like as, a, as an entity. So anything on Redbubble, including Traveling with Bruce merchandise, 20% off today. There's a code at the top of the page. You have to uh, copy that code in when you get to your order window, final payment window. There's a little box saying, have you got a little promotion to put in this box? Yes, you do. Look at the top of the screen. It tells you what the word, the magic word of the day is to get the 20% off. Then they show you the deal. Thank you. So any of you who are thinking of getting something from Traveling with Bruce, take advantage of today and grab something at 20% off. And then finally, I'll say thank you to those of you out there who go to Amazon. There's a few Amazon shoppers out there, a few million of you. If you are uh, in the mood, you can go to my page, uh, either down below in the description, just below my face here, my little box, or you go to my homepage. Again, one of those icons, little dots. One of them is an Amazon icon. Hit that or hit the address below here and you'll be linked right into the Amazon homepage. If you buy something on Amazon, if you've linked in through my site, I get a royalty on anything you buy on Amazon, whether it is dog food, cat litter, uh, slippers, a pair of shoes, a Gucci handbag, a TV. I don't care what you get. It doesn't matter. Um, they don't tell me who's buying. They just tell me, Hey, something sold on Amazon with your link, and it was a uh, it was Tom Henry buying a snow shovel because I know Tom Henry bought a snow shovel. Uh, and here is your uh, what here's the commissions you're going to receive. It takes about a month and a half before I get the commissions. I don't get it the next day, but just knowing it's coming is good enough. And so thank you all of you who occasionally will go to Amazon for me, buy something through uh, the Amazon either for yourselves or for your employer for your company. For friends, a birthday gift, a wedding present, whatever it is, I think I can't thank you enough for shopping through the Amazon affiliate link that I have connected to this channel. There you go. Thank you, everybody, for your support. I love you guys. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the channel. I um, wanted to uh, mention a couple of things today. Uh, first of all, the video I did this morning. I did a video today about uh, Royal Caribbean. Now, <laughs> I got to tell you. It hasn't been a good two weeks for Royal Caribbean. I mean, let's not kid anybody here. Uh, the last two weeks for Royal Caribbean have not been good. We've had a um, a young 16-year-old uh, young boy uh, 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 recklessly climbing from uh, on a balcony room. He was trying to get to the balcony next door, trying to go around the divider that they have between the rooms, and he slipped fell off the ship from, I don't know, 100 and something feet up and landed on a concrete pier and passed away almost immediately. Very sad news there. That was, I think, on the Oasis of the Seas, if I got my bearings right. I could be wrong. Forgive me if I'm wrong on that. Then the uh, Oasis of the Seas, they came out with uh, the horror story of a week and a half ago, the norovirus affecting the cruise they were on. They had, a I think, a one-week cruise going on, eight-day cruise, something like that. And... Uh, Within two days, the first 167 people got sick. Then it was 277 people. Then the next day, it was oh, almost 500. They turned the ship around after three days and went back to port. And they were disinfecting that ship as much as they could to keep the rest of everyone, keep everyone else on board as healthy as possible. 500 people out of 6,500 got very ill. And uh, oh, what a mess. Anyway, they got the ship back one day before schedule, got the people home, and gave everybody a refund. And, and help people catch planes and change flights and take care of all the fees and costs associated with that. What a mess. And then uh, they had a whole day where they brought on their people with hazmat suits and they really disinfected that cruise ship big time. And they've just uh, been doing another cruise since. And I haven't heard a word, not a problem on the next cruise. All is fine. 
but still the damage was done. It didn't help the reputation for Oasis of the Seas. And then we hear about the jumper, the stunt that just went wrong. A young 22-year-old guy who jumped off the Symphony of the Seas cruise ship while at port in Nassau, in the harbor in Nassau. We found out today that the, <laughs> did you know, that the port in Nassau, where these four cruise ships, uh, you know, come in almost every day, it's shark infested waters. Did you know that? <laughs> There's all kinds of sharks in there because uh, the fishermen come in through there and they throw their, uh, you know, leftovers out that when they cut their fish all up. And guess who's there to eat it? Oh, well, the sharks are there to eat it. Well, this guy jumped 110 feet from the egging on of his buddies uh, into the water while at, uh, while at the harbor there. And uh, he lived to tell about it, but he didn't get to live much longer on that cruise ship because he was quickly uh kicked out of there and his pals were also kicked off the ship all of the individuals who were in the video showing this guy jump off the ship they were all off the ship within the hour with their suitcases and uh they had to find their own way home get out of here no refund for you you're out and now the cruise line is considering filing charges against this guy i have a feeling that their lawyers are taking a look at maybe being able to sue him for um, damaging the brand. Um, he's bragging about the ship he jumped off of and the, the name of the cruise line. Uh, he's causing damage to the brand and uh, they might be suing him for this. I don't know well, where, how, what, I don't know. But I can tell you, I would not want to be this 22 year old kid having to face an army of lawyers representing Royal Caribbean, a $35 billion monster they can throw a million bucks at these lawyers and bankrupt this kid and his family if they want to. I'm telling you, this is a warning across the bow of anyone thinking to pull off a stupid stunt like this. You are in a world of hurt. I mean, he hurt his tailbone when he landed in the water. That's nothing <laughs> compared to what's coming. This kid, uh, if he's got student debts and uh, he wants to get a car loan, uh, he wants to get a mortgage, he may not be able to qualify for anything like that. If he has judgments against him for hundreds of thousands of dollars from the cruise line, because they're going to win in court, they're going to win. Uh, he is in financial peril for maybe decades. I'm telling you, don't be jumping off of cruise ships to try to get viral videos going. It's not going to work. It is the wrong thing to do. Anyway, there are some of the stories that Royal Caribbean has been dealing with the last week and a half, two weeks. Not good stuff. I even did a video on the Anthem of the Seas on Friday talking about an air conditioning issue. Uh, there was a problem on the Anthem of the Seas. A number of rooms and, and levels of the ship, the air conditioning wasn't walk, working properly. It got all wonky. Some of the rooms uh, were as high as 90 degrees temperature with uh, virtually 100% humidity. Passengers couldn't get a good night's sleep. It was terrible. It was a four or five day ordeal for some of these folks. I have heard from some viewers, I will admit, who contacted me and said, I was on that ship, Bruce. We were there. We didn't have that problem in our cabin. Everything was fine. Uh, it's only a small number of rooms. But you know what? I'd hate to be the lucky winner uh, where I had one of these rooms where I'm sitting in 85, 90 degree weather, no wind, uh, um, and high humidity. I, 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 it would just kill me. It would just kill me. Uh, I really feel for those folks who had to deal with that. Anyway, that was another story again on. Royal Caribbean until today. Today, Royal Caribbean, uh, there was an interview done with a senior executive. It got published, and I thought I would replicate it. I made a video of it, cover some of the highlights of the story. It turns out that uh, there's a lot of good things happening with Royal Caribbean and interesting things happening with Royal Caribbean, along with many other cruise lines, hence why I do this, because there's so much interesting stuff going on in the cruise business. Talking about uh, a couple of things. Number one, Oasis of the Seas. Talking about that ship. That ship is going in for dry dock um, later this year. Uh, the ship will be dry docked, I think, for uh, for October and November. It's a good two months. Uh, I'm going to guess that at 60, it's for a 60-day dry dock, this could be a $200 million dry dock uh, in cost. Because we're talking about one of the largest cruise ships in the world. Uh, that's a lot of square footage to look after and a lot of systems to upgrade. This ship, the Oasis of the Seas, is the first ship released by, uh, built by uh, for Royal Caribbean of the Oasis class, um, holding 6,500 passengers, uh, 2,200 staff, uh, you know, 1,100 plus feet long and 200 feet wide, big ship. 
uh, to refurbish one of these, you are looking at a serious amount of money, but it's worth it. The ship has a very high occupancy rate as do all the Oasis class ships. There are now four of them. Uh, the Oasis is, is going to be upgraded so that it will basically equal the Symphony of the Seas for features. This is a serious move up. I mean, we have to think about the fact that the Oasis of the Seas is coming up to about seven years of age. The, the Symphony of the Seas was just released uh, like six, eight months ago. Uh, we've got seven years of catching up to do here. Uh, that is the kind of upgrading that the Oasis of the Seas is going to have. A lot of technical upgrades, a lot of... Uh, I would say internet upgrades, a lot of uh, key systeming, a lot of furnishing upgrades, uh, restaurant upgrades. This is gonna be something major. I will be following this story. I will be covering this story. There will be videos made of the upgrades of the Oasis of the Seas through Traveling with Bruce. Don't worry about that. But that's something to look forward to. It's coming up. It's kind of like a rebirth of a ship and uh, it'll be interesting to see when she's all finished what she looks like. That was part of the video I did today. Uh, another part of the video I did today was the fact that um, Coco Key is uh, opening up their private island in uh, the Bahamas. They're opening that one up uh, starting in May until uh, uh, November. It's it's running now as it always has, but these expansion, the ma massive expansion, another two hundred million by the way in dollars being spent here. Uh, they'll be opening sections of Coco Key with all these new add-ons, the wave pool, the largest freshwater pool, the uh, tallest water slides in North America, 135 feet tall, the 1,600-foot uh, long zip ride, if I've got my memory serving me correctly, a 450-foot high hot air balloon ride being installed. All kinds of these features will be up and running between May and November of this year as they get it done. So that's a big project. That's to look forward to. The other one I read today was uh, was interesting to me. 55% uh, of all of Royal Caribbean's customers come from the United States, North America. And last year in Miami, uh, Royal Caribbean processed 750,000 travelers through the port of Miami. Uh, they have now opened their new Terminal A in Miami. This is the new terminal that is very stylish. Um, facial uh, facial recognition technology built in. Uh, this is a facility that can get 6,500 people off of a cruise ship through customs and out and 6,500 people in to a cruise ship through cruise ship with their luggage in the span of less than 10 hours. Uh, it's probably done in about six. It's unbelievable. Uh, you got to have the most modern of technology to handle this kind of capacity. We're talking luggage for 6,500 passengers each direction uh, without making mistakes. This is takes a bit of a trick. Um, the terminal is up and running, and uh, they're expecting to handle 2 million passengers out of the Port of Miami going forward. That's what they're ready for. Uh, just to give you an idea, the growth curve that they're on that's their that's where their brain is at at royal caribbean just for miami there's fort lauderdale there's port canaveral there's tampa there's, there's, there's galveston uh then there's new york uh new jersey bay on new jersey um these folks at royal caribbean they're not taking any prisoners here folks this they know what they're doing they are really growing it out and um miami is the showpiece it's the it's the number one cruise in the world for passengers and Royal Caribbean wants to be the big player in town. So, of course, so does Carnival, so does Norwegian. So they're up against some serious competition, and MSC is not far behind. Final part of the video had to do with um, the Spectrum of the Seas, the new ship coming out, uh, I think it's April for 2019. It's headed for China, but it, as it goes to China, the um, – the, uh, uh, the ship coming out, there's a ship coming out, and at the moment my brain has locked up on me as I'm trying to remember desperately the name of the ship coming out of China going to Alaska. Give me, forgive me one moment as I take a peek at it here. Uh, the ship coming out will be the Ovation of the Seas. There we go, it's a quantum class ship, similar class, but the Spectrum of the Seas is gonna go into China. It'll handle 52 or 5,600 passengers with 1,500 crew. The ship coming out, the Ovation, going to Alaska, built in 2016 has 4,905 passenger capacity with 1,500 crew. So the Ovation will be working out of Seattle all summer long, and I believe after the summer it heads to Singapore and be home ported there. So it should be a pretty exciting year for Alaskan cruises this summer with the Bliss, the Joy from Norwegian, 
and now the ovation of the seas for the Royal Caribbean. The last piece of news on the video was that five ships are on order right now for Royal Caribbean, all of them extremely expensive. The first one, Spectrum of the Seas, I just mentioned for April. Uh, then there's an additional quantum class ship uh, being built for delivery in 2020. It hasn't been named yet. That'll be about a $900 million build. Then they're going to build their fifth Oasis class ship. There's the Oasis of the Seas, the Allure of the Seas, the Harmony of the Seas, the Symphony of the Seas, and then there'll be the fifth one. We don't know the name yet. It's been ordered for delivery 2021 in two years another 6,500 capacity cruise ship with the latest bells and whistles will be delivered to Royal Caribbean. 1.3 billion build minimum for that one. Then in uh, 2022 and 2024, two brand new ships are coming known as the Icon class of ships. Don't know what they look like. No idea what they're going to be called. Don't know how big they're going to be. Uh, what we know is that they're LNG powered and there's the first one coming out in 2022, the next one in 2024. I can tell you right now, within about two to three months from now, the blitz, the advertising blitz will begin, the marketing blitz from the marketing department. We are going to be inundated with news about the icon class ships because you're going to have to name the first one, show the artist's renditionings, and then tell us about all the features. And so looking forward to that. I'll be keeping you all posted on that as the information comes out. Can't wait. And uh, we'll find out uh, what we're all about there. So that that was done this morning. I did that video this morning. Please check it out if you get a chance. Let me know your thoughts. I hope you like it. Give it a thumbs up if you do. And send me a comment. Tell me what you thought of the video. I hope you enjoyed it, found it interesting information. Other news for today that I read about, and I've read about this the last week or two, but I haven't said anything yet. I thought, no, nah, I'll mention it now because I read some more information today that I thought you should know and I can give you a bigger picture on what's going on here. There is a story out now, several stories out, several stories of cruise ship passengers being accosted, being mugged, uh, being uh, robbed or attempted robberies at uh, ports. And the one that caught my eye is St. Lucia, the island of St. Lucia. Um, there was an incident a couple of days ago, uh, two passengers from a German cruise ship from the Ada line, which is owned by Carnival, they were uh, walking through a city park uh, right downtown. Uh, they were just coming out of the park when two young, uh, described them as youths, uh, gang members, what do you want to call it, attempted to steal their purses, their bags. And uh, there was a struggle. Uh, the two put up a fight. The, the two tourists, they put up a fight, and they were screaming for help, and it worked. A bunch of locals in the area caught the commotion and ran to their assistance. The two young men took off empty-handed, not before, unfortunately, causing some injuries to the two uh, passengers. Thankfully, the injuries were not serious enough to prevent them from continuing on their trip. They went, uh, they may have filed a police report, but they got on their ship shortly thereafter and were treated on board the ship. Unfortunately, this has been happening more and more recently. Apparently, uh, three days earlier, two local residents of the, uh, of the city uh, were accosted and held up at gunpoint by two robbers in the same park. And in that case, they did get away with the valuables, uh, terrorized these two. Um, and apparently a British national, a gentleman, uh, had a yacht, a uh, sailboat of some kind uh, in the harbor. He was accosted. They aborted his vessel and he was killed. He was murdered and the investigation continues. And so the folks in uh, in St. Lucia, it's not going well right now in St. Lucia. They're all excited because uh, lately they've expanded their harbor capacity to handle more ships. Well, certain individuals in this region view passengers from cruise ships as easy targets for a robbery or a snatch and grab or whatever you want to call it. Um, and I happen to read today an article talking about the history of St. Lucia and other areas. And I thought I'd share this information with you. This is, uh, I could have held this back as a cruise uh, trivia question, but I'm not going to. It's not a, uh, it's not a happy trivia question, but um, I thought I'd mention to you today, I'd read off to you today, the 10 most dangerous cruise ports in the world and uh, let you in on the 10 most dangerous cruise ports 
on Earth. This is as of 2014, and I have to tell you, uh, this list is kind of accurate even now, and that's the sad part about this. Uh, um, there will always be a top 10 list for any category, and unfortunately, this one has its own um, spots. Here we go, the 10 most dangerous cruise ports uh, for destination, cruise destinations in the world. Number 10, St. Lucia, just as I was talking to you about. St. Lucia in 2014 was number 10. Entire busloads of tourists on, on group tours were being held up at gunpoint at one point in time. The government cracked down on that. Uh, cruise lines didn't go to St. Lucia for a couple of years uh, after 2014. They've only just recently come back. The government has insisted that they have really cracked down on it. But... Um, there are still incidents like uh, the ones I was just telling you about happening. Number nine, El Salvador. Uh, number nine, do, do not walk uh, alone in El Salvador in a dark alley. Don't be doing that. Number eight, I'm surprised at this one, St. Thomas, U.S. Virgin Islands. St. Thomas, um, eighth most dangerous cruise destination in the world. I'm not talking Caribbean. I'm not talking about uh, for any cruise line. I'm talking global. Uh, shocked to see that uh, 2014. Now, I have to hope that in the last few years things have really improved. Uh, there was a little unstableness there, a little instability after the hurricanes hit a year and a bit ago. Uh, but hopefully, uh, too many people are working right now and haven't got time to uh, accost passengers. But there were incidents in St. Thomas back in 13 and 14. Um, number seven, Antigua, another island nation in the Caribbean. Number six, St. Kitts and Nevis, a uh, very nearby uh, um, St. Thomas, not far from St. Thomas, and mileage-wise, very close. Number five, Mexico. We hear about it all the time. It's incidents in Mexico, issues with people getting uh, robbed in Mexico, pickpocketed. Uh, we're hearing stories about uh, shoddy uh, regulations with respect to buses, uh, the condition of buses shoddy conditions of transport trucks as they're racing, racing down narrow two-lane roads, running into passengers either individually or into bus situations. Uh, Mexico has a ways to go yet to get off this list. Number four, Guatemala. A lot of insta instability in Guatemala, a lot of gang violence in Guatemala. They don't, uh, they're not picky with respect to who they're going to mob and rob, uh, whether it's uh, it's people trying to get into the USA for safe haven or whether it's tourists who look uh, a little out of shape and uh, like a little bit of a biscuit boy, uh, easy mark uh, to hold these guys up. Uh, they're not running very fast. I don't know. Guatemala. Number three, Venezuela. Makes sense. Venezuela is in such bad straits, dire straits, the entire country. People are starving to death in Venezuela. Once Venezuela was a top 10 nation for wealth for the average individual today, Venezuela is worse than a third world country. It isn't even third world. It is really rough there. Number two, Honduras. Honduras is the number two most dangerous uh, uh, ports, uh, uh, destination for cruise visitors. Uh, historically, uh, uh, people get uh, get accosted, robbed. Uh, there have been uh, entire busloads of people. Uh, cruise lines have done a lot to improve things, but uh, you got to watch yourself. Uh, certain ports, Honduras, no problem whatsoever. Certain ports, got to watch yourself. Number one country, the number one destination in the world for violence and the most dangerous cruise destination is shocking to me. Uh, we've been reading a lot about this place lately and how the government is vehemently denying it. It is the Bahamas. The Bahamas are ranked as the world's most dangerous place to land. Now, I have to think, we're talking Freeport, Nassau. I, I got to think the cities of, not the private islands. You're not going to have a single issue at Coco Key or at uh, any of the private islands that the cruise lines are operating through Disney, through Norwegian, through Carnival. You're not going to have a problem at all. Those are all uh, blocked off. They have their own security. Everything's fine. But if you're walking the streets of Nassau and you take the the off the beaten path uh, route through town, uh, you're on your own. Uh, the police uh, just can't watch it all. Think about it. There are days in Nassau now where there are four or five cruise ships tied up at the harbor, and the cruise ships are holding between 3,500 and 6,500 passengers each. We're talking 20,000 people who are getting off ships, going for walks. Some are taking tours, some are taking cab rides somewhere, others are just strolling around. 
and the successful mugger only needs one victim in the right place at the right time for them, the wrong place and the wrong time for the passenger to get robbed. And uh, Nassau, the success rate of the police service to arrest and convict uh, perpetrators is less than 3%. Your odds of and even finding the person who got you is nix. There's nothing. You haven't got a chance. You're only there for six, eight hours. All you want to do is get back on your ship and get the hell out of town. You've been robbed. Uh, the police service uh, cannot help you. They're not going to find out who it is. They might have an idea who it is, but they can't prove it. You're not around to ID, ID them and, uh, and be there for a court hearing. Um, and the robbers know it. So cruise passengers are easy marks depending on the <coughs> circumstances and situation that the cruiser finds themselves in. And I thought today I, I will tell you about this because – I love cruising. You know out there how much I love to cruise, but I also love to tell you the way it is. And uh, sometimes uh, things happen that aren't pleasant in the uh, world at large, and this is one of them. Uh, it can happen in your hometown. It can happen in the in Canada. It can happen anywhere out in the world. You can be a victim of a crime anywhere at any time in this earth of ours, uh, but um, it also happens on holidays too. Uh, people get robbed in Disney World, they get robbed in uh, Universal Studios, they get held up at gunpoint in Washington, D.C. when they go and see the uh, sites there. It's everywhere. Uh, Paris, London, Hamburg, Moscow, there's, there's nowhere it doesn't happen. But there uh, is always a top 10 list of places where it's the worst. And for cruise ship passengers, there you go. Isn't it interesting how so many of these are Caribbean? It's shocking how many of these are Caribbean locales. Why do cruise lines go to these places? Uh, look at how beautiful they are. I mean, you've got the best of the world, the worst of the world. In some cases, some of these countries are third world countries, which means on the one hand, the mighty U.S. dollar goes an awfully long way when you go to a third world country. The problem with a third world country is you're dealing with desperados and they're looking at you as a walking ATM machine. They, they uh, wish they had your problems. They wish they qualified to have your debts. Uh, they wish they had a day job like you have had a day job. And they're desperate, absolutely desperate, starving and hungry. And they're under unbelievable pressure to probably bring money home for someone else. Or they're being told to rob somebody and bring me a hundred bucks or I'll kill you. And they're doing it to stay alive because of gang violence. It's uh, not a pretty scene, not a pretty sight, but it's real and it happens. And uh, you must govern yourselves accordingly when you go out on a holiday, even on a cruise. So there you are. Whether you stay on the ship or not is up to you. Uh, I personally wouldn't be walking around the middle of Haiti or Jamaica myself. They're not even on the list. Um, I wouldn't be getting off a ship in Kingston, Jamaica, walking around downtown trying to find a deal on a T-shirt. Uh, I'm a mark. Uh, I think I'll stay on the ship uh, or do a private tour with the with a security escort if I do one at all. Anyway, love to get your comments on any of these uh, stories, any of these comments I'm making today. What are your thoughts? If you're new to this channel, you're new to the show, I welcome you all here to the show. Please sign in and say hi to me. Tell me, where are you watching me from today? What's your hometown? What country are you watching me from? What's your high temperature today? What's the price of gas in your neighborhood? I'd love to know what you're paying for gas out there because it's changing all the time. And one more thing, please tell me, if you don't mind, did you get an ad today when you were watching the show? I don't care if you're watching me on a rerun or not. If you're watching me on a rerun, I also want to hear from you folks. Tell me, what ads are you getting on this channel of mine whenever you watch a video or a live show? Tell me who it is. I want to know who is looking to get to your eyeballs because when I sponsor this channel down the road, I want to talk to companies that are already advertising to my people and to say, hey, you're already advertising to my peeps. Why don't you sponsor one of my videos and help this YouTuber succeed at his craft? See what we can do. Anyway, thank you for all of you who are giving me that information and saying hi to me on the channel. Please say hi. Please subscribe. And let's see who's here. Let's find out who's here and say hi to everybody. Brittany Lockwood signed in. Uh, she signed in today. It looks like at about 3.17 today, well before showtime. Hi, Bruce and all. If I was uh, if I was in college tomorrow, it would have been my first day of classes, but she's all finished college now. It's a whole new world for Brittany Lockwood, a whole new existence. 
and there's a trip in her future for a little holiday, and then let's see what happens next. Tom Henry is saying, hi, Brittany. So nice you're not in college. What will you be doing tomorrow? Tom Henry, a warm 26 Fahrenheit in Richmond, Virginia. Warm, he says, because it was 13 Fahrenheit in Littitz, PA at 11 a.m. when we left to come back here home. So he went from 13 degrees to 26 degrees, and that's warm as far as he's concerned. Uh, Tom Henry, cruise countdown, 34 days till Paul Wilgus and I go down to the Dawn, the NCL Dawn. In San Juan, Puerto Rico, 60 days, 68 days until Cindy and I, his wife, go on the bliss for a Panama Canal cruise. And 305 days until Cindy and I do the gym. And 404 days till Cindy and I do the star, Norwegian star for a South American cruise. Penguins, here we come. Fantastic, Tom. The cruises are lining up one after the other, and the days just go by. You know, instead of only one day passing at a time, you're passing five days at a time. You've got five cruises. Every day is five days off. It's fantastic. That's how you make time go faster. Pretty good stuff, man. That's fantastic. I'm looking forward to photos and comments from you and Paul Lugas getting on the gem in the San Juan. That should be fun. Or getting on the dawn, excuse me, in San Juan. That'll be fun. Uh, Tom Henry, uh, thank you. Uh, Jeremy G, it's a warm 73 in the Inland Empire, California. Hello, everybody. Jeremy G, welcome to my show. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for coming by. By the way, if it is your first time, say hi to me, guys, and say, it's my first time. I'm a first timer. Let me know. The gang will say hi to you. Welcome me into the group. Welcome, Jeremy. Tom Henry saying, very nice, Jeremy. Welcome. Brittany, I don't know all of my plans for tomorrow yet besides watching Driving with Bruce. Uh, that's a good point, Brittany. I like it. Tom Henry is smiling. Brittany, it's 55 degrees here. Well, she's in Louisiana. Uh, Paul Wilson, hello, Bruce and everybody. Hey there, Paul. Uh, Tom Henry, hi, Paul. I was thinking of you as we came south on the I-95 a few hours ago. There was a truck with spikes, like 12 or so, sticking up the front wheel covers. Looked very dangerous, like a speed racer. Tom Henry, kind of look like a villain, you know? Tom Henry says, um, only just um, only just looks, Tom, says Paul. Uh, they think that stuff is cool. <laughs> I'm close to uh, Joplin, Missouri now. I had two loads canceled while I was in Alabama. That stinks, says uh, Tom Henry. That stinks. Paul, dispatch wants me, in, wants me to be in Temple, Texas tomorrow morning. I told him they had another thing coming. The truck doesn't fly. I can only go so far so fast, but he's yes, that's right. Tom Henry, just tell him to contact Scotty and have him beam me over. Sylvan Forrest, hi, Bruce and everyone. 68 frigid degrees and cloudy in Delray Beach, Florida. It's uh, too cold to have a cigar outside and enjoy it, but a rum and coke is currently meeting its maker. Thumbs ups, everybody, for Bruce. Thank you, Sylvan, for the thumbs ups request. Uh, so far, 30 thumbs ups have come in today. Thank you, everybody, for those. Boy, I'd love to hit 50 today. We'll see how the show goes. Uh, Wendy Thompson, hi, everybody. Hi, Bruce. Uh, those of you who missed it, I don't know if you missed it or not. I held the channel ransom the other day on Saturday. I don't know if you saw my show Saturday, folks, or not. But on Saturday, I did a uh, display. I showed a photo of me wearing a Speedo on the air, uh, but I held it up as a ransom request. Uh, you had to have 30 subscribers on Saturday, or sorry, 30 uh, thumbs ups to get it. Today, you want to see that picture again? 50 thumbs ups will get you a shot at that picture again. For those of you who haven't seen me wear a Speedo, I got a photo right here. I don't know if you want to see it. I mean, it might be, you know, it might burn your eyes, but I'll say the folks who saw the, sh the shot on Saturday, They've all, I think they've all survived. I, I didn't see any death notices, so I think they're all all right. But if you want to see me wearing the uh, the Speedos that I uh, I took the picture on Saturday, I'll uh, post, I'll show you that photo on my big-ass iPad. This iPad right here, this big-ass iPad, I will show you this photo uh, with the 50 subscribers, uh, 50 thumbs-ups today. I got 36 right now, 14 to go, and up comes the photo. So let me know. Let's see how we can do that. Um, lots of fun. <laughs> Wendy Thompson, hi everyone, hi Bruce. Nathan, boat channel review, uh, boat, re boat review channel. It's minus two Fahrenheit in Salisbury, Maryland today. That's getting downright chilly over there, buddy. Stay warm. Tom Henry, time for a dip in the Ch Chesapeake Bay. Tom, uh, Paul Wilgus, hello everybody. It's 21, with, it feels like 10 degrees here this morning. 
Uh, it was eight in the morning. Uh, it was. It felt like minus eighteen this morning. That is really chilly for Virginia. Welcome, Paul. Stay warm. Wendy Thompson, Paul Wilson. We used to live ten miles north of Cuba, off of forty four. Dwayne is in the house. Victoria, British Columbia. Ten degrees Celsius. Gas one twenty nine point nine. Ten degrees Celsius is fifty Fahrenheit. Quite tolerable for winter. I have to say, here in Creston, gorgeous sunny day. Beautiful. Not a cloud in the sky. But we're only at 36, 37 degrees. Uh, if you stand in your living room window and let the sun shine on you, you'll get hot because of the glass. Stand outside, you'll feel okay as long as you're wearing a winter coat. Thankfully, no wind. So we're doing okay. No snow today here. Uh, Paul Wilgus, hello, Tom. Paul Wilgus, hello, Wendy. Vivian is here from the UK. Evening all. It's cold and frosty here, she says. Nathan Boat Review Channel. I think the people on the grandeur are not happy today. Uh, it got low there, minus 11 Fahrenheit. Yikes, that's that's cold. Tom Henry, hi, Paul Wilgus. Nathan, uh, at 2 p.m., he's saying, it was that cold? D Dwayne is saying coffee, one cream, one sugar, please. Um, Wendy Thompson, hello, Paul. Tom Henry, Paul Wilgus, interestingly, I found out after I watched The Escape's late departure uh, from New York City yesterday that my niece is on it for her delayed honeymoon. Hope she doesn't get to meet that, uh, that, uh, what that big storm he, I had? Maybe it was what he, what he's thinking about. <laughs> Hopefully not, Tom. Hopefully she'll be have she'll have smooth sailing on the uh, on the escape, the NCL escape. Uh, Brittany Lockwood, my beverage of choice for the show is hot chocolate and maybe a vanilla coke. Tom Henry removed from the latitudes group for cussing. Oh oh oh. oh. Sylvan rum, coke, lime juice, vitamin C, ice, and I'm done. Ted B, Purina Pet Foods was on your uh, was on your channel today, Bruce. Interesting. I have a lot of pet owners on this show. Uh, Sherry, awesome sunsets. Hi, Bruce. Hi, though. Hi, Sherry. How are you? Tom Henry, I think just some uh, H2O here for me. Paul Wilgus, laughing out loud, Tom. Nathan, uh, hi there. Sherry, awesome. Hello, everybody. Cool jazz. Hello, Tom Henry. Paul Wilgus, uh, 13 degrees and high winds. Uh, feels like minus 15 Fahrenheit in New York City. That is cold and windy. And, of course, you've got those concrete canals, those, those concrete canyons the wind can whip around there pretty dramatically steve bartley nebraska tourism ad he's saying that's what i got today fantastic steve thank you donna adam 64 fahrenheit in tampa bay florida not too bad it could be warmer but hey it beats the worst it beats being north uh nathan bolt review hi sherry carl peterson is here in montana's restaurants ads montana's i like montana's i've been there a few times i enjoy their restaurants don't have one in creston though we're not large enough to have one of those tom henry uh we can thank the beaner for blowing the cold down here. Steaming bean from uh, from uh, northern Saskatchewan. Uh, thanks a lot. He was sitting on minus 40 to minus 50 degree temperatures. I guess it's moving, some of it's moving south. What are we going to do? Can't help you. Uh, too darn bad. Um, <laughs> Camille is here. Uh, Camille Castorina. Hi, 41 degrees right now in South Georgia. Hi there, Camille. David C. Perkins, all good here in Kentucky. It's gold. Welcome, David. Paul Wilgus. Cool jazz, hello, it's too darn cold. Sherry, awesome sunsets, felt like two degrees in snow. It felt like two degrees with snow on the ground here in St. Louis. That is cold for St. Louis. Uh, Tom Henry, traveling with Bruce, must have been the sex video, laugh out loud. That must have been it. Uh, Nathan, uh, Sherry, here, it felt like minus four today. Uh, Tom Henry, I, I see Dawn copied you today. Um, uh, let's see her, uh, Paul Wilgus, laugh out loud, Tom. Uh, uh, Sylvan Forest, a, a, a Pedego electric bike ad here. Oh, that is kind of cool. Electric bicycle ad, but doesn't say Rolls Royce on the front. It's not roadworthy. <laughs> Desi Wagner is in the house. Desi, hello, Bruce and the gang. Missed everyone. Desi Wagner, welcome back. It's been a while. Uh, Sherry, awesome sunsets. Burr, Nathan. Uh, Desi, how cold is it in Chicago? I know that's where you are. Uh, True, Janie Sue. Hi, all. Very windy in West Texas, partly cloudy in the 60s. Vivian Clark Nicholson just shared again. Uh, Roger Hannock, uh, or Hank. Hey, Bruce. Hey, Roger. How you doing, buddy? Welcome to the show today. Nathan, uh, people on Grandeur are not happy today. Cool jazz. Paul Wilgus, we missed the show at least. Um, Paul Wilgus, yes, uh, we did cool. Uh, Nathan, no pool time for them. No, not, uh, not on the Grandeur. If it's that cold up there, get that ship south quick. Tom Henry, I was just happy the car started after sitting at the hotel since Saturday. I stayed in the room all day yesterday with the thermostat set at 74, Although I did venture out the door around 11.45, coming in shorts and bare feet to see the lunar eclipse. Uh, you're a brave man. Um, Maria Keys, cool. hi, Bruce. Hi, Maria. How are you? Welcome back to my show here. Tom Henry, uh, a couple of latest just arriving from California, saw me and made some comments. Laugh out loud. 
<laughs> uh, Tom, you got them going. I bet you they 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 were wishing you were in Speedos. That's what they were probably wondering. I wish that guy were in Speedos, not his underwear. Wouldn't that be fun? Um, uh, <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, let's see here. Um, uh, okay, Sebastian Schroer says, I got a question as an ad. He says, oh, okay. Uh, cool Jazz, where, where, where were you, Tom Henry, for shorts? Where were you? Paul Wilkins, Tom Henry. I went out to see it. I um, went out to see it about the same time, but, but too many clouds. So I couldn't see the lunar eclipse at all. I froze for nothing, laugh out loud. He says, Nathan saying, I didn't have an ad. Sylvan, note from the uh, Homeowners Association, HOA. Please do not watch uh, moon eclipses in your underwear and barefoot. Signed, all of us. <laughs> Please don't do that. Uh, Sylvia, hi from Greensboro, North Carolina. Cold as a, you know what, here. 30 degrees. It feels like 25. No rain, no snow. It's just cold. Tom Henry, cool jazz. I was in Littlest PA, not shorts weather, but I didn't stay out for long like a polar bear. Uh, Paul Wilgus laughing my, you know what, off Sylvan. Uh, Paul Wilgus, uh, hello, Sylvia. It's uh, That's warm compared to us. Camille, I'm now eating coconut custard pie. You are killing me. You're killing me. Coconut custard pie. I love that. I love banana cream pie, too. And, and of course, apple pie. Costco apple pie. Isn't that just the best? Costco. And they're huge. They're just these massive pies. And the Costco ice cream on top after you heat the pie up a little bit. Oh, gosh. For a biscuit boy, keeps it all here. Keeps it all. Oh, my unbelievable nathan watch it uh, from the caribbean this is a message from the office of carnival uh okay thank you um interesting cool test i i, I thought um uh, i thought you uh tom you took a chance i thought it was you tom took a chance I'm not sure what's going on there tom henry uh well i had regular long shorts not even daisy dukes edmund holmes Jr., uh bell camp maryland reality check for us uh kudos to those who do single digit temps all the time <laughs> right on it <laughs> yes uh there's some folks out there who have to tolerate that for a long time every winter yuck not for me sylvan hi there tom cool and paul tom henry hi sylvia Brittany, thank you for your donation today paul we'll guess uh, tom henry thank god no daisy dukes this is just an unthinkable thought <laughs> oh the speedos would be bad enough but to think daisy duke shorts on a guy oh no no, no, no. <laughs> my eyes, my eyes. Oh, no, no. Oh, Sylvia. Hi, Sherry. Uh, cool jazz. Hello, Sylvia. Uh, you have your fur on over there. Tom Henry, if everyone pledged a dollar a month on Patreon, Bruce would be set. He'd get 90 cents. 10,000 subscribers, he'd get $9,000 a month. American, that's all it would take. Just a dollar. Oh, if I could get $3. I wouldn't have to talk to you guys anymore. No, I wouldn't work that way. <laughs> I'd talk to you a lot. I'd have all kinds of time. Oh my, that would that would ease up things. Twenty-seven thousand dollars a month U.S. Three dollars a month for every Patreon. I'd be on cruises a lot. Uh, that would be for sure. Oh man, I think I'd have to start doing a, a business class airline seat videos, <laughs> getting from port to port. I, I could afford that. Oh, Tom Henry, you just get everyone to do that, would you? Uh, T. Johnson is here. Get on with it, please. I mean, Bruce, stop yapping and get on with the news. Well, yeah, come on. I haven't got all day. T. Johnson, this was seven minutes into the show, and he'd had enough already. Uh, sorry, T. Johnson. Kelly Aston, hello, everybody. Dathan Boat Review, the Columbus Musical Harmony. The Columbus Musical Harmony has a song that's still stuck in my head. It's called Call Me Al. <laughs> Tom Henry, Paul Lewis laughing out loud. Dwayne, if everyone pledged 20 bucks on PayPal, Bruce would be set even better. Dwayne, from your lips to God's ears, if all 10,000 subscribers were to send me $20 on PayPal, oh, man, uh, goodbye mortgage and uh, bill. Oh, goodbye everything, new car. Oh, my God. Whew. Uh, Dwayne, you, you get me all dizzy. You, I'm getting all dizzy now. BB's Fantastic Adventures. Hello, all. Sylvan, if we were all just a little fatter, we'd be closer to each other. <laughs> that's true. Uh, that, that is, that's true. If we were all just a little fatter, we'd all be closer to each other. Oh, man. Oh, no. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I, 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 I just, I just, I, I, I have no words. No words can describe. 
<laughs> Paul Williams is laughing out loud. Nurse Nancy, hello there, TWB family. We are cold in Wisconsin. We're cold. The single digits. I got a local news channel commercial before the live stream. Oh, Nurse Nancy, you hang in there. You stay warm. You stay safe. You stay healthy. T. Johnson, nine minutes in, and you haven't talked about cruises at all. Goodbye. I'm out of here, you bum. That's enough of you, Bruce. I gave you nine minutes of my personal time for this one hour and 20 minute show you're doing. I gave you nine minutes. You didn't say anything about a cruise ship. You're not talking about anything I want to hear. I'm out of here. Well, T. Johnson, I'm sorry. Uh, didn't work out. I'm glad you came by. But, you know, you could just watch my short videos. And for three minutes, you'd get everything you wanted. But if you want to hang out with a live show, you're hanging out with the TWB family. And uh, we're talking about getting fatter to get closer, wearing Speedos for a style thing. I mean, we we got stuff to talk about here. Uh, it might not be up your alley there, T. Johnson. I'm sorry to say he's out of here. Uh, still <laughs> cool. The coat I have is Land's End from Vermont. Nice and warm, but the fur hat. Oh, Nathan is saying, I'm the only one, I'm the only one who loses weight on a cruise. Laugh. <laughs> Vivian, hi, Nancy. Mark Van Ram. Hi, everybody. 20 Fahrenheit in Hampton. It's cold. Brr. Nurse Nancy. Hi there, Vivian, everybody. Camille uh, retracted the message. Desi Wagner. Hi, Nurse Nancy. Wes Morrison. Hi, Bruce. 69 here, New Braunfels, Texas. When I took part in an MLK march, it was 32 degrees. Aye, 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 wear the mitts. Get the toque. Yikes, that's cold, buddy. Welcome, sir. Uh, Tom Henry, thanks, Camille. Saw that ad before it disappeared. Katie Bourne is here. I love that when it's Brucey time, it means I only have one more hour of work left. Thank you for making my last hour of work anything but boring. Well, you know, uh, Katie, when we're talking about squeezing into Speedos, or or uh, or uh, <laughs> getting fatter to get closer, I can see how the hour would just go by like that. But for T. Johnson, it wasn't working for him. This guy had, had enough. Nine minutes, he was up to here with traveling with Bruce, and he's, he's ranting and uh, telling everybody how happy he is and uh, thanking them for subscribing to his. He didn't want to hear that. Just tell me about the cruises, man. Oh, I just can't make everybody happy. It's, it's just, I'm sorry. I do the best I can with what I haven't got. Desi Wagner laughing out loud. Uh, Glenn Edinburgh. Hi, Bruce and everybody. Glenn, welcome back. Uh, Tom Henry. Hi, Nurse Nancy. Wendy Thompson, thumbs up. Thumbs up for Bruce. Ed Tolson. Hello, everybody. It's a cold 13 today. I got 45 thumbs up. So we're only five away from seeing the picture of me wearing the Speedo. Those of you who were here Saturday, you saw it. You know what you saw. Have you had time to recover? There are a bunch here that weren't here Saturday. We'll have to see five more thumbs ups, and you will see a photo of me wearing these Speedos right here. I put these Speedos on. Are you ready for this, baby? There's the front of the Speedos. Here's the back. I'm wearing these five thumbs ups. That's all we need, and Nirvana will arrive to one and all. Oh, my God. What am I saying? Uh, okay, here we go. Uh <laughs> Ed Dawson. Hello, everybody. A cold 13 degrees today. Uh, Glenn Edmiral, 298 days till my cruise in November on the Voyage of the Seas. Looking forward to seeing the amped up refurbishments. Nurse Nancy. Hi, Tom. Tom Henry, traveling with Bruce. Did you hear why the escape was delayed leaving New York City yesterday? It sounded like they had some norovirus issues on the prior cruise, too. They could have, Tom. They could have, and they tried to keep it quiet. Uh, and they were doing a serious bunch of cleanup. They, that could have been it. I, you know, I. Don't know. Cruise lines don't like bragging about this stuff. I tell you, Marie Keys, the kid fall from the harmony of the Macy's. A very sad story. Sherry, awesome. Hi, Nurse Nancy. BBs, Ed, where are you? Sherry, hi, Wendy. Sherry, hi, BBs. Uh, Ed Tolson, Bronx, New York. That's where I am. Wendy Thompson, diving with sharks. Oh, the fun. BBs, uh, fantastic. Hello, Sherry. Good to see you. Wendy Thompson, hi, Sherry. Sylvan, I swam with sharks in Aruba. They were afraid of me when I smiled at them. <laughs> Sherry, awesome. Sunset trip. <laughs> Hi, Sylvia. Oh, man. Oh, BB's fantastic. And I am here in Maryland, and it's 19 degrees. 19 degrees. Not fun. Uh, Paul Wilkes, hello, Tweety. Ed Tolson, so Tweety. Hello, BB's. Hey, so Tweety. Good to see you. Sherry, I so Tweety. Nurse Nancy, I think the young man who publicized jumping was uh, definitely stupid. Um, uh, sounds like he doesn't value his own life. So sad. The guy's a moron. Um, hi there again, so Tweety. And Sherry says, Nurse Nancy. Sylvan, the jumper was all skin and bones. I grieve for the poor Bahamian sharks. <laughs> Nothing good to eat there. Just bone and sinew. Oh, my gosh. 
Paul Lucas laughing a lot. Tom Henry, hi. Uh, so duty. Uh, so duty. Sure, wouldn't have felt bad for that if that idiot had died. I wouldn't have felt bad for him at all. BBs, uh, I do agree with you. So duty. Uh, Tom Henry, he's lucky he didn't hit the water wrong and get paralyzed. Yeah. So duty. Nurse Nancy, I'm excited for your Lalita Loca debut today. Fantastic. So duty. That's great. Joe Copper, die. Just, just die, Bruce. Just die. Uh, thank you, Joe Copper. Uh, thanks for coming by and saying hi to us. It's uh, so lovely to see you. Uh, don't forget to leave a thumbs up on your way at the door. Uh, Dwayne, uh, jump off the jumping off the ship wasn't smart, but this one mistake could ruin this kid's life. You're right, Dwayne. You nailed it. BB's fantastic. Oh no, Tom. Uh, Nurse Nancy, thanks so Tweety. I'm nervous, but it was a blast to do it. Uh, Dwayne, uh, he he was what 21? Yep, 21, 22, I think. Uh, uh, Dwayne, cool jazz. Coral Princess is coming to Los Angeles uh, from Los Angeles from Los Angeles, Fort Lauderdale today. Next cruise listed is 131. Wondering why 10 days off. Uh, could be a private charter. It could be on a private uh, music type deal, uh, all sold out as a private charter, not available to the public. That can happen often. Uh, Dwayne, a long time to live and pay for a stupid mistake like that. Uh, another 60, 70 years for him yet. Sherry, 18 more days till our cruise vacation. Right on, Sherry. Dwayne, um, two, what is it? Uh, nine lives with that. Yeah, too many lives. Uh, so, Tweety, interesting, cool jazz. BBs, uh, Sherry, where to? Where are you going? Uh, Katie, 27, I think so. Way old enough to know better. No, he's 22. Uh, Dwayne, sure he should know better. I agree. Nurse Nancy, good question. Cool cool jazz. Well, let Bruce research and get that to us. Yeah, 22. <coughs> Paul, well, I guess I, exactly. Kate. <coughs> Excuse me, folks. I am uh, decided to swallow where I breathe and breathe where I swallow. <coughs> you know, I, I like to mix it up a little bit, keep it all interesting and exciting. How many thumbs up? 47. 47 thumbs up. We're only three thumbs ups away from showing off the photo from Saturday where I'm wearing Speedos. This is incredible. I'm, in, I'm getting all excited about this. I can't wait to see it myself. Um, <laughs> uh, Nurse Nancy, yes, Katie, I thought he was in his uh, latter 20s. Uh, Dwayne, but does does everyone deserve a second chance, uh, especially considering the stupidity of this act? Brittany, Royal Caribbean sounds like they know what they're doing. Nurse Nancy, but the fact that he, he, thinks, he, he thinks it's still funny. And what the tra the tragedy, and it doesn't seem like he's learned anything from the stunt. It's really sad. Dwayne, sure they know uh, what they're doing, and they will probably make an example of this kid. Paul, Dwayne, he he he, uh, he did get a second chance. He lived, and he isn't paralyzed for life. He does have a second chance. Dwayne, uh, it's just very sad to see a life ruined over such a stupid mistake. Agnes, a high TWB family trying to stay warm, 10 Fahrenheit and windy in New Jersey. Yikes, that is crazy, Agnes. Stay warm, stay safe in there. Um, stay healthy. Uh, Brittany Lockwood, for the individual who jumped off the ship and his pals, they should never be allowed to go on a cruise on, or on any cruise ship from any of the cruise lines, as far as I'm concerned. So, so Tweety, cool jazz. I found a post on uh, on CC uh, that uh, was at cruising with uh, – who's, who's CC? That's uh, – ah, I don't know who that is. Uh, saying the coral is having a light refreshing over the 10 days. Oh, uh, that's on – okay, so uh, a coral of the seas – uh, on a, on a, on some kind of a on some kind of a chat, it could well be it's going into dry dock. Uh, quick ten day dry dock. Uh, we'll probably run at about thirty million, three million a day is usually what those cost. Quick little refresh for a quick thirty mil. How about that? Uh, Dwayne Paul, if Royal Caribbean does take legal action, he is going to pay for the rest of his life. Does the punishment commit meet the crime? Well, you know, uh, the cruise line. Um, you know, if if people see him jumping off the the, the balcony. And they think it's that easy to fall off a ship, maybe with a with a strong wave, and a hundred people don't book the next twenty cruises because they're afraid. You've just lost fifty cabins times a hundred cruises, which is uh, what's that? Five thousand cabins. So fifty times ten is five hundred. Five thousand cabins at uh, maybe two thousand dollars a cabin. Uh, do the math. Uh, we're talking millions, and the imagery. Uh, for the brand, millions, millions in imagery lost because this is not what Royal Caribbean is advertising. This is not what they want to be known for, stunts like this. Hmm? Uh, yeah, uh, so who's paying here? Royal Caribbean is paying now. They've been paying for a week and a half. This story has not gone away. It is still a top-notch story, a, to a top-rated story on Google search. It just won't stop coming up because news organizations are hungry for anything scandalous this is scandalous, and it's costing Royal Caribbean dearly. I'd be pretty ticked about this. This kid has no idea what he was doing. The big picture. No idea about the big picture whatsoever. It was a selfish move. 
on his own doing with his pals. And they thought they were being cute and funny and they could do a viral video and they failed on all three counts. Unbelievable. Cool jazz. Hello, Agnes. I need to, I need to take you to Atlantic City. You nailed the weather forecast this weekend. No snow. Nurse Nancy, that is good to hear. They're spending time. They're fresh in the curl. So Tweety, you can't fix stupid. There you go. So Tweety. Hey, Agnes. Nurse Nancy, indeed, so sweetie. Unfortunately, you can't fix stupid. Nurse Nancy, hi, Agnes. Cool jazz. Thanks, so sweetie. I thought uh, so, but it was refurbished in 16, so I thought it was too early for another refurbishment. Sherry, BB's Fantastic Adventures going to St. Thomas, St. Martin, and NASA. I can't wait. Sherry saying hi, Agnes. Uh, Tom Henry, cool jazz. We need you for security work. Our first port is St. Lucia. Uh, cool jazz. Tom Henry, y y you got <laughs> – what's that? You got you. I'll send my boys over. You got it. I'll send my boys over for you. Oh, Paul, look, it's a cool jazz. Yeah, come with us as our security guard. Laugh out loud. Cool jazz. My Jackie Chan costume always seems to work along with my Mr. T voice. I pity the fool. <laughs> I pity the fool. I pity the fool. So, Tweety, Cabo and Columbia are my guesses for most dangerous. Yeah. Tom Henry, what about Acapulco? There you go. Wow. St. Thomas. Paul Wilson laughing my ass off. Cool. Tom Henry, that, that what happened to our Brent friends uh, killed by hostiles? So, Tweety, I haven't been there, Tom Henry, but probably, uh, Tom Henry, the whole country of Mexico, oh, dear. Tom Henry, I need to order a Kevlar suit from Amazon for the cruise. Uh, uh, Sylvan Forrest, I once took the tender to Belize City. I took one look at the place and refused to go on shore, preferring to return back to the ship. Just take me back. I'm not getting off here. No way. Cool jazz, Tom Henry. Maybe they ran the operations and got busted. So, Tweety, uh, Tom Henry, he didn't think about how often cruisers would visit the island. He claimed he lived on. Kind of hard to keep up with a lie when people arrive on the island. Wanting to hang out. Uh, uh, Tom Henry, oops, Tom Henry, it's all very strange. So, Tweety, um, catfishing is so common, but because of the iPad and donations, it is particularly strange, Paul, because I agree, Tweety. Tom Henry, the Latitudes Facebook group had a weekend question on everyone's least favorite port. Sounds like a list MG put together. No places seemed acceptable. Paul, because I have heard for years about the Bahamia, Bahamia Bahamas being bad. Uh, cool jazz laughing on my ass off. Uh, cool, uh, so Tweety is laughing. Paul Wuggis laughing on Tom, but true, he's laughing too. Uh, Sherry, awesome sunsets, which is why the cruise lines have their own private islands now to ensure safety of the cruisers. Exactly, exactly. Why do these cruise lines have all of these private islands? Look at Disney with their uh, Castaway Key and uh, Labadee in Haiti. The only way I'm getting off a cruise ship in Haiti is if I'm going to Labadee. I am not going to Port-au-Prince. Port I'm not going anywhere in, the, in Haiti whatsoever. I'm going to a private, secluded, uh, securitized private property if I'm getting off the ship in Haiti. Uh, Jamaica, uh, my wife uh, Jennifer and I, we got off the epic, Norwegian epic in Ojo Rios. Um, we had one mission, <laughs> one, one, one objective. We needed to use the internet uh, on our phones and, and Jennifer's tablet. So we walked off the ship and we walked to the first bar right inside that compound that's all blocked off from the outside world. Got to the bar saying, have you got Wi-Fi? They said, yeah, just buy a drink. You get the code. You betcha. My wife had a red striped beer from Jamaica, which she loves. I had a caffeine. Well, I, had a ca I had a Diet Coke. I had a Diet Coke with caffeine in it. And um, we got the uh, Wi-Fi code, and we didn't go a step further. We did what we needed to do, spent about an hour, enjoyed the, uh, the little setting, took a few pictures of the, uh, the epic from where we were, and got back on the ship. And we were quite happy with that. Thank you very much. No need to go in the streets of Ojo Rios as two elderly or older, uh, kind of out of shape couple. I don't think so. I'm not interested in playing that game. No way. Uh, there you have it. That's why they have their own private islands now in all over the Bahamas and uh, the Dominican Republic and in Haiti and other venues. More coming. Tom Henry, so sweet. Yes. Uh, and I chatted with Kaya frequently in midday. In midday on Messenger seemed like a normal school kid. Cool jazz. Maybe so Tweety had MG disappear. <laughs> so in my opinion, those uh, three are all one person is what so Tweety thinks. Nurse Nancy, funny so Tweety. It's like a little snippet of trivia on TWB. Uh, so, Tweety, uh, live a lot. No, I've seen MG around. Uh, Nurse Nancy, love the speculations. Uh, Dwayne, uh, those are real criminals. Uh, those who rob and mug people, those are real. Those are the real criminals. Nurse Nancy, Sherry, uh, do you have any excursions set up yet? Uh, Wendy, uh, I lost Bruce. Uh, so, Tweety, so true. Uh, Sherry, awesome sunsets. The private islands are lovely. Paul Wilson, hello again, everybody. I had to leave the chat uh, for... 
I got to where I have to pick up my next load close to Joplin, Missouri, going to Temple, Texas. Uh, Nurse Nancy, he's still on, Wendy. Uh, Nurse Nancy, hi there, Paul. Uh, Sherry, oh, yes, Nurse Nancy, we like to stay with the tour groups. We have tour groups set up at all three ports. Paul Wilson, hello, Nurse Nancy. So, Tweety, why do those areas remain, remain so poor? When there are thousands of cruise passengers arriving several times per week, why is that? Why is it that the politicians of some of these countries live in beautiful homes, drive nice cars, travel in first-class luxury, and the people that represent are dirt poor? Why is it that the island is owned by five families and most businesses are run by 20 families, and the other 600,000 families, 50,000 families, 20,000 families are very, very poor. Why is it that if you want to do something on the island as a businessman, you have to have a private chat sometimes with certain people about certain things regarding certain items that need to be, hmm, maybe I'm reading too much into it. I'm just perhaps over speculating as to what's going on in certain countries at certain times. Maybe that's what it is. Hmm, interesting. Wendy Thompson, he is back. Uh, Tom Henry, hmm, I might say, uh, go ahead and kill me. No money to give you and need a release from work. <laughs> There's Nancy. What are you doing, Sherry Awesome Sunset? I'm just curious. Uh, Paul Wilgus, laughing on top. Uh, Dwayne, staying with the true group isn't safe when the entire bus is being held up. Well, that's why you need security. And even then, I'd be leery. I agree. Uh, Tom Henry, I need a type 2 phaser. Nurse Nancy, order it up on Amazon, Tom Henry. Uh, he's laughing out loud. Sam Smith, watching from Galway, Ireland. Maximum temp today, 4 degrees Celsius. Have you been to Ireland? Sam Smith, welcome to my show. Welcome to the channel, Traveling with Bruce. I'm so glad you're here. I have not been to Ireland. It is a bucket list of mine. My daughter has now been to Ireland like four or five times in the last three or four years. Enjoys it immensely. Um, Jennifer and I are very much interested in getting there. It is on our bucket list of donation of, of, of locations to get to. So, Sam, the day will come. Um, Camille, ads for ladies shaping garments on your show. Very interesting. So, I got lots of Carnival and Royal Caribbean ads. Shocking. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Uh, you get cruise ads on my channel? Uh, for you, so Tweety, that's odd. Uh, Sylvan, phasers were never as effective as Romulan dis dis disruptors. Avoid wearing red shirts around Romulans. Uh, red shirts, Romulans, death. That's that's all it is. Red shirts, Romulans, death. Don't 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 do it. Uh, cool, Jeff, Sam Smith. Uh, are you the singer? Uh, Sam Smith. Uh, Heather Parsons. Hey, Bruce. Hi, Bruce. It, it, it is frigid here in Whitby today. The ad today was for KLM. Right on, Heather, at KLM Airlines. Get out of there. You bet. Sherry, awesome. Nurse Nancy, each one is like a, a tour, shopping and a bit of beach time. Yeah, yeah, shopping. I'm not into that. Uh, Margie. Uh, hi, Bruce. Hi, Margie. Uh, Nurse Nancy. Sounds like fun, Sherry. Nurse Nancy. Hi there, Margie. Um, uh, let's see here. Say so. Hey, Sam Smith. My grandfather from Galloway, Ireland. Kay from Florida, USA. Fantastic. Welcome, say so. Margie, hi, Nurse Nancy. Uh, uh, what is this? Uh, Chip Merkley is here 102 days until Anthem of the Seas. Bermuda, what What are your top two things to do there? What are the top two things you could do in, in Bermuda? He's asking. Chip Merkley, welcome to the show. Welcome to the channel. Glad you're here. Welcome, buddy. Um, yeah, Bermuda. Um, lots of tours available. I think you can rent a scooter and take a scooter around if you're, you know, if you've got the Chops to want to try that. Of course, you're driving on the wrong side of the road, so watch out. Uh, several of the beaches are nice to go to, I'm told. Uh, pink sand on some of them, really cool. Uh, uh, there might even be some museums in, in downtown Hamilton that you might want to check out. So uh, I would, if I were you, Chip Merkley, uh, just go just go to YouTube and enter, um, you know, um, a cruise to Bermuda and, and see what people have posted on previous cruises. You may find that uh, you may find that there are videos posted of people who are who have been to Bermuda on the very ship you're going to go on, the actual cruise you're going to take. There there may have been people before you who've gone and made videos of their experiences there, and uh, you'll find out through some of these ship excursions that were offered what what they did, and that might help you decide what to do. Uh, Maria Keys Coo Orlando is 54. Yikes! 54 in Orlando. That's getting cold. 
Uh, Sherry, awesome. Uh, yes, Nurse Nancy, my hubby's excited about seeing the planes landing over our head in St. Martin. <laughs> what about taking off? Are you going to hang on to the fence and let the sand hit you? Ooh, I wouldn't want to do that. Uh, Margie is smiling. Nurse Nancy, I put my thumbs up in too funny, Bruce. Will you be? Uh, will you do much to promote that channel? You do. You do much to promote the channel. How am I? Been? I got fifty-one. I got fifty-one thumbs ups. I hadn't even noticed. I gotta. I gotta show off this photo. Um, how many more messages have I got? I got so many to catch up on. Uh, you gotta see this. Uh, yeah, I gotta do it. Just a minute now. I gotta. I gotta get now to my messages here. <coughs> Pardon me. One momento, por favor. As I go back here to uh, to the uh, where I am right now on my messages, so I don't lose my place. Oh my goodness! Uh, the message has been coming in here, and people were doing the countdown. This is fantastic. Oh, you guys are great. Hang on one sec. See if I can find this message here from Nurse Nancy, and then I know where I'm at here on my uh, channel. Oh yes, uh, here we go. Okay, I got it right there. All right, are you ready to see this? Oh yes. Oh yes, you've got to see this photo. Uh, me wearing. Uh, here we go. Uh, this was taken Saturday. Uh, here I am wearing my speedos. All right, here we go. There, there you go. There I am wearing my speedos, and I, of course, I got my one of my favorite TWB shirts on, as you can imagine, because you know. After all, and and thumbs ups because oh, I was happy. Are you ready? Are, 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 you, are you sure I should go all the way with this? Are you, I'm teasing you. I know I'm teasing you, but let's take a look here. Traveling with Bruce, wearing his speedos on the air, alive. Here we go. Here, I just want to get rid of that little light there. Okay, here we go. Here it is. Here, here. Oh, 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 oh. The shirt was too long, covering up the speedos. But I can tell you, I can assure you. I was wearing my speedos underneath that uh, that picture right there. I just want to get that glare out of there. Hang on, there, there you go. I mean, don't look too close in the front area. Just, you know, keep your mind on the gutter now. Yeah, but there I am uh, wearing the speedos on Saturday, uh, and this aired on Saturday using the big ass iPad. Bruce wearing the speedos. I was wearing them. They're on uh, right here. Here they are, baby. Uh, what a pair of speedos we have here! Oh my goodness! I, I'll, I'll give you a little hint as to just what it would have looked like. Hang on one second here. I just gotta push the camera way down there. You can see my little pants here. Okay, let, uh, let's take a look here. Alrighty, look at this, baby. Look at. Just think about. Just think about how much there's. There's so much room here, and there's so much room here. So you know, stretchy, stretchy. Oh my gosh! And then you know, here in the back end, let's double check that. Oh yeah, baby, here we go, here we go, right here, just like Conan O'Brien pulling a little spring. There you go. In that something, I tell you, I have a future. All I need is a pole. If I could just get a pole and put this on, and uh, you know, it's kind of hang from the pole. Maybe I could get one dollar bills or five dollar bills. You know, slipped into the into the into the into the speedo. And uh, make my living that way. And I, I mean, forget the views. Who cares about views? I just need to get my hands on some, you know, some dollars being slipped in there. Oh, my. <laughs> I have to quote Jennifer. Uh, she she saw me wear those. Uh, and, she, of course, she saw underneath the shirt what it looked like. That. She said, uh, yeah, you're exposing too many naughty bits. <laughs> Just a few too many naughty bits were being uh, exposed there. Good thing you got the shirt on there, buddy, because, oh, yeah. It, it, it just, mm. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that. I hope I didn't make you mad. Uh, after all, there are children about. Uh, this is a PG-rated channel. You know, we don't want to get into trouble with the YouTube police or anything like that. Yeah. <laughs> Too much fun. Uh, a cool jazz. Um, so Tweety, a coral is at sea. I'm going to track to see where she goes. So Tweety, that is so fun. Sherry Awesome Sunset. De Deb Gwimet is in the house. Hi, Deb. Hi, Bruce and TWB family. It's 8 below Fahrenheit this, this afternoon. Warmed up to 3 by noon. So it was 8 this morning. It warmed up to 3 this afternoon. Uh, we ended up with 18 inches of snow. We lucked out. We lucked out. Could have had 26 plus inches, uh, as my daughter did, just 25 miles north of us. So 25 miles north, 25 inches of snow, two feet. Uh, they only got 18. Oh, my goodness. Deb, stay warm. Stay safe. Stay healthy, please. Norm Duarte, cold today, 8 degrees, too cold. Gas, 249 at Costco in Milford, Connecticut. Thank you, Norman, for letting me know. 
Fatima McCoy, hi Bruce, thumbs ups to you. Sherry, awesome sunsets. I can't wait so to eat. Margie, hey Fatima. Tom Henry, Sherry, awesome sunsets. We had the same plane landing effect right from the ship as we were departing Boston in November. The planes had to do an interesting twist to get to the runway. So, Tweety, I read Bahamas, uh, cool just, but keep us posted, please. Um, uh, Curtis Lee, every time I watch your reply, I have about 10 to 15 ads. Is that normal or just my channel with you? Curtis Lee, I don't know. It, it could be normal. Uh, I hope you can skip them. Um, you know, you watch a few seconds of them and just skip them. I, I don't know. Um, but um, I know that advertisers love it when they can find a channel where the host is doing a, a, a live show like me and is engaging with his audience and they see that man you know this guy starts yapping at uh, five o'clock in the evening on on a weeknight and he goes until like six six ten six fifteen sometimes six thirty i mean this guy just goes and goes and he's always got an engaged audience going with him i mean what has this guy got that others don't have because so many others who go live, they last 20, 30 minutes, and then they're out of there because nothing's happening. It's, it's just so quiet. Uh, so they love to advertise on ch chats, shows like that. What I'm looking for is uh, I'd love to find a sponsor uh, like a vacationsco.com or something like that where I can put the logo of that sponsor somewhere behind me. That would You'd see it all the time behind me. And I would be paid a, a flat fee as a sponsorship arrangement. I'd give them a shout out, of course, because I love vacationsco.com. Wouldn't mind being sponsored by caffeine, you know, Coca-Cola. I love their caffeine-free cola. You know that, folks. Anyway, um, that would really supplement my income. And, and then I could theoretically cut, cut down the ads on the YouTube. <laughs> Not that I'd want to do it. I need to right now generate income wherever I can get it. I got to survive. I got bills piling up that, uh, you know, are old. And uh, they, they have to be eliminated. So. We got to keep growing this thing to kind of catch up with things, but we're getting there. Uh, let's see here, 15, 10, 15 ads. That's incredible. A high number of ads. Uh, so, Tweety, I think they put an ad in every 10 minutes or so. Uh, cool Jazz. Okay, so, Tweety. Fatima, hi, Margie. Sherry, wow, Tom Henry, that sounds amazing. Curtis Lee, uh, okay. Uh, Margie, thumbs ups for Bruce. Uh, Vivian, I still, I'm still getting travel vids. Got Antigua and Bali. Very interesting, Vivian. Tom Henry, if you look through my old posts in TWB, you can see a, a shot of the plane. He says, "Sam Smith, where is the read? Where is the reading? Where is he reading the requests from?" Uh, Mike, the comments that you're giving me are on my big ass, our big ass iPad right here. They come in here, and I have it on a music stand right beside my screen. So I just look off here to the side and read these comments as they keep coming in from everybody. Pardon me, I just dropped my my big ass iPad pencil. And uh, I has a backup. I have the comments on a phone right here, and there that's kind of on the corner of the computer screen over here. So uh, one one is set to the latest comments that have just come in, and one is set to the comments I'm reading at. And that way I can kind of keep an eye on the two to make sure we're we're not getting hopefully trolls or or uh, you know anything uh, crazy. But some sometimes people say to me, Bruce, you're off the air. Everything looks normal to you, but you're you're not here, so I I can see that happen. Little stuff like that. It's what I do. I've just got to set up here to kind of make it work. Works for me, I guess. Uh, say, thanks for asking, Sam. Uh, Sherry, they said St. Louis has had more snow than Chicago this year. That is surprising. Laughing out loud. Corey Jacobs, 38 degrees and windy in Atlanta, expecting a low of 22 tonight. Beautiful sunset. Gas is 209 a gallon. Corey Jacobs, welcome from the beautiful city of Atlanta. I'm glad you're here. Thanks for joining me today. Dizzy, Dizzy Wagner from Chicago. Sherry, Chicago is expecting more snow. Or sleet tomorrow. Norman, yes, apple pie. Mm, good, Bruce, that Costco apple pie. Sherry, maybe Chicago will catch up, says Dizzy. Dizzy, I hope not, Sherry. We don't want it. Uh, <laughs> laughing out loud. Nurse Nancy, hi there, Fatima. N and Wendy Thompson, Daisy Dukes, and Red Bottom Heels. Now that's a look. That is a look. Uh, that was the look of the 70s and 80s on Dukes of Hazard. The Daisy Dukes, Dukes, Red Bottoms. Uh, some people can pull it off. Most cannot. Oh, my. Uh, Paul Bogus laughing out loud. Camille Cruz in 1987 on downtown shopping era, uh, area, uh, Caracas, Venezuela. X and I were surrounded by a gang of about 10. It looked like 12-year-olds. I am from New York City. Stared them down. They went away. Very scary. Wow. 10 punks looking to give you a hard time in Caracas. And that was before it got really bad. It's really bad now. 
Yikes. Say so. Don't forget the bow. Uh, the, the bow. Laugh out loud, Wendy. Don't get the bow. Uh, Wendy, Sherry, we moved out of Missouri uh, and missed the snow and cold. Oh, how I miss that. Uh, Sebastian, hi all. Mark Reeves, hi there. Uh, Sherry, uh, Wendy Thompson, if it wasn't for all uh, for all my family and grandbabies here, I would move south in a heartbeat. Um, so Tweety, Sylvan Forest, your Speedo pick is so cute. Uh, Dwayne, uh, four more thumbs ups to hit 50 and see that Speedo. Well, we did it. We did it. 53 now. Are you all recovering from that? I hope you're okay. Um, <laughs> Uh, so Tweety, laugh out loud, cool. Don't don't give Tom any ideas. Uh, Tom Henry, just what I ne I need heels. I can't walk down the steps with those shoes. Sherry, sorry, Wendy Thompson, laugh out loud. Maybe someday, Paul Logan, laugh out loud. Tom, so so true. Brittany, I forgot to say these twelve days until I leave for Disney World. I twelve days and she's on holidays. Fantastic, cool. Jess, Paul Logan, Tom needs to stay quiet. Too close for uh, to cruise time. You'll get insurance, by the way. Uh, did you get the insurance, by the way, uh, Brittany? My family's disappointed that the New Orleans Saints will not be in the Super Bowl. Oh, a lot of folks. Same with Kansas City. Oh, what a couple of games those were. Well, it was cool jazz. I do, and Tom does. But uh, but does mine protect me from Tom? Does my insurance protect me against him? Uh, Paul, cool jazz. He may be walking behind me on the stairs and fall and take me down with him. Oh my gosh! Watch out. He's all thumbs. Cool jazz. Mm, good thought, Paul. I would be careful. Uh, Linda Lou. Hi, Bruce and everyone. Oh my God, I'm so late. Welcome, Linda Lou. You made it. Paul, look, it's cool jazz. I'm bringing a big roll of bubble wrap to wrap him up in. Cool, Jazz. I already saw that pic. No wonder there's an eclipse last night. Oh, my hand, Paul. Look, it's laughing out loud. Cool, Jazz. Paul, look, it's a good idea. Tom Mary, they, they didn't say hold the handrails, but I better. Paul, look, it's, yes, you better hang on to those handrails there, Paul. Uh, Tom Henry, the stairs are wide enough for Paul to walk uh, next or on the other side of the center rail for safety. Wendy, um, CJ, I've just seen lots of moons from Windjammer. No more moons, please. Uh, <laughs> you're uh, checking in late from Tarpon Springs, 72 degrees and lots of uh, sun. Are you wearing your Speedos today, uh, Peter? Uh, you, I'm sure you just saw the show. Lots of fun going on here, Paul. Look, so what are you you're saying, Tom, is don't walk in front of you. Is that what you're telling me? Curtis Lee, so what cruise ships are going to have the go-karts? Well, the Bliss, the Norwegian Bliss has them. The Norwegian Joy has them. And the Norwegian Encore will have them as well. Keep an eye. Uh, Paul, look, laughing out loud. Uh, David C. Perkins, not sure my... My me, I can take you. I don't know if I can take you in speedos, but I don't know if I can take this. Uh, Paul Lucas, 50 subs, bro. She got 50 subs. Sherry, we did the hop on, hop off bus in Montego Bay, Jamaica. We had fun, no problems at all, says Sherry. Zombie 3 Gaming, you are doing good on YouTube. Well, thank you, Zombie 3. Appreciate that. Debbie Gourmet, Speedo, Bruce, please. There are some images that my mind's eye may not be able to erase. Please don't do it. Please don't do it. Too late. Um, Cat Rose, easy corruption. Uh, Paul Wilgus, exactly, Cat. Uh, Sherry Awesome, in Mexico, our bus driver said the police are more crooked than the crooks. Cat Rose, Mexico doesn't interest me. A.R. Costa Concordia. Uh, Paul Wilgus, Cat Rose, I love Eastern Mexico, but Western, not so much. Still then, we, we have, uh, and we have a picture um, on the uh, the big-ass iPad. A couple of hundred more pixels on my monitor just died. At this rate, I'll need a new monitor in a couple of weeks. <laughs> Oh, Sylvan, I, I keep thinking about you with those ostrich feathers, and that, that's killing killing pixels in here. You, you're killing me, buddy. Not again, please, says the cool jazz. Not again. Uh, Paul Lucas laughing out loud, Sylvan. Uh, Wendy, no, Bruce, once was enough. Not again. Deb Gouvet, we take island tours from the locals and always ask about the government. We get to see areas that the cruise ship tours will not show you. The stories we hear about corruption are appalling. There you go. Um Cat Rose, Mexican food, and my tummy, didn't, we don't get along. A cool jazz. Uh, was that a two-piece with a biscuit? <laughs> Dwayne, um, I got my Harry Shave Club shave kit in the mall today. I think I will do a YouTube unboxing video. There you go, Dwayne. Right on. AR, Liberty of the Seas. Uh, STNCC, uh, laughing out loud. Linda Lou, laughing out loud, Dwayne. AR, big fan of RCL. Uh, Sylvan Forest, I will get a pole, too, and we can do synchronized pole dancing. We'll be rich beyond our wildest dreams, Bruce. It'll be unbelievable. Dwayne's laughing out loud. Cool Jazz Bruce is now working, uh, looking for a theme cruise. Uh, Tom Henry, hello, Mr. Enterprise E. Someone here understands. Paul Lucas, cool, laughing out loud, cool. Linda Lou, what a teaser, Bruce. Debbie, oh my God, what, th that is what I missed. Is that I just missed that. Uh, Sylvan, Lucy uh, saw that. She slithered right back into her heated cardboard box, the poor little snake, poor thing. AR, Costa Concordia, AR, Liberty of the Seas. Paul Lucas, 
laugh out loud, Sylvan. But uh, Tom Henry, it looks like we have some subs here that have not found the TWB Facebook page yet. You got to go to my Facebook page, folks. If you want to see a bunch of these photos, Traveling with Bruce, spelled with two L's. Come on over there. Become a member. We'd love to have you in there. AR, I'm a big fan of RCL. That's what I figured, AR. Brittany, I still kind of remember some of the ads that I have seen in the past before whatever video I was going to be watching. They were just sort of local places. Peter Heckema, Bruce, did you say you wanted a stripper pole? Did, did you want one? Uh-oh, he's the guy who sent me the the uh, he sent me the, the uh, Speedos. Uh, Paul, look at Peter Heckema. Don't even think about it. Don't even go there. Uh, Cat Rose, brr, Camille, gas, 187. Uh, 191 at Val Dosta, Georgia, right on. AR in Roma, Texas. It's 51 Fahrenheit. Sherry, awesome sunsets. Hi, Cat Rose. Uh, Agnes, New Jersey. Peter Heckma, keep the poll. Just send the $1 bills. Uh, Cat Rose. Ooh, go karts. Curtis Lee. So, Norwegian's getting go karts. Carnival's getting a roller coaster. What's Royal getting? Cat Rose. Bruce, do you prefer postcards sent in an envelope or just as postcards? Just as simple as postcards. If you want, I mean, if you're sending me three or four, put them in an envelope, of course, but. Uh, going to send me postcard just send me postcard i love getting postcards they get put up on the postcard wall of fame right back here fantastic love that uh love getting gift cards <laughs> costco gift cards oh i love those walmart gift cards safeway gift cards love those i eat as as bees eatings uh yeah it's all good <laughs> whatever you want to send me love it thank you everybody for all these comments fantastic participation again today uh it's been an hour and 28 minutes uh t johnson he left a long time ago long, he, nine minutes i got nine minutes out of t johnson today and he gave up on me saying bruce you didn't even get to the stories what you're gonna talk about i'm out of here i can't i can't socialize with you and all these twb people i'm not that kind of guy i'm out of here well, you know, you should watch my short videos because it is very quick. Uh, they get to the point where here we kind of hang out. Uh, what can I tell you? Uh, Kat, do you have Safeway up there? We, we do. But um, if you send me a Safeway card from the U.S., I'll use it there. <laughs> I just go to the Coeur d'Alene Safeway when I'm up there, and I'll grab something there. love Safeway there. they got a beautiful, huge Safeway store, uh, one of them at least, maybe more. And, of course, Spokane's got a ton of them, obviously. But yeah, Costco, Safeway, Walmart, oh yeah, they're all in uh, Coeur d'Alene. I can, I can utilize those places. No trouble. If you want to send me a gift card, please do. Sylvan, great show again, Bruce. Thanks. Chicken Cacciatore and Polenta await. Bye for now. Thank you, Sylvan. Uh, thank you for, for burning my retinas again. Thank you for that. Uh, Cat Rose, okie dokie. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Cat. You're so kind. Um, tonight, um, nothing happening, but tomorrow I'm on twice. I'm on tomorrow at five o'clock Eastern. Then I'm on at eight o'clock tomorrow night for trivia. Get ready for live trivia tomorrow night, eight o'clock. Thank you everybody for being uh, loyal followers of this channel. Thank you for helping me get ever so much closer to 10,000 subs. We have 360 to go as of the beginning of this show. Unbelievable. We're that close to 10,000 subscribers. They're coming in from all over the world, and I am just so honored by that, so thrilled. You have no idea. Um, uh, what do we got here? Dwayne, uh, yes, it was a great show again, Bruce. Camille, I am now eating fresh mozzarella balls. Agnes, Sylvan, I'm coming to your house for dinner. Oh, well, he, I tell you, uh, Sylvan's got it going on. Uh, fantastic. Uh, thank you for joining me today. I want you to please stay safe, stay warm, and stay healthy out there, everybody. Today was the... January 21st, 2019 show. Please check out my latest videos. Forgot to tell you, I did another video, was it yesterday? About the couple that found uh, people having sex in their cabin when they checked into their cruise ship on embarkation day. They got onto the ship, they went, had a drink, finally decided to go and check out their cabin. They slid their key card in there. Open the door and right in front of them on the bed is a man and woman going at it like there's no tomorrow. And oh my, hilarity ensued. Uh, check out the video. Tell me what you think of it. I hope you like it. I tried to do it in the uh, in a in a in a best taste possible way. <laughs> check out my channel and let me know if you what do you think about the whoopee going on in the cabin and um, give me a thumbs up and a comment and we'll see you tomorrow. We'll talk about it. But that one, uh, that one was kind of fun to make. Um, <laughs> Linda Lou, gotta go for my animal checkup. So I'll have only, only have, uh, only come for trivia tomorrow. Uh, Paul Wilkes, take care of all. Pample Moose, you have Kroger in Canada? No, we don't have Kroger. Uh, but I think there's Kroger's in uh, uh, Spokane. I'd have to double check that. Uh, Agnes, I'll swing by and pick up 
uh, Camille, and I'll bring cannolis, she said. Uh, Dwayne, no Kroger in Canada. Paul Lucas, Agnes, uh, New Jersey, uh, yum, cannolis. Brittany, there is no such thing as a private space on board Norwegian from the way it sounds. Linda Lou, yummy cannolis. I want some, Agnes. I want them cannolis. <laughs> Sherry, had fun. Thanks, Bruce. Thanks, Sherry, so much. Thank you, everybody, for popping in today. Have a great evening, and we'll catch you tomorrow at 5 o'clock and 8 o'clock tomorrow night for trivia. In the meantime, we'll see you later, and enjoy, everybody. Bye for now. Me and my, my Speedos are going to uh, watch some TV. See you later. Bye.